Hello YouTube, it's Balmore here, back with more blind gaming on Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, and we are in a yet yeah, another new area um, called Harvest Valley. I just got had I forgot what the other area was. I almost had it mixed up there. We just left um, Huntsman's Cops, and now we are, you know, having defeated both bosses in that area and cleared the area out. Now we're moving on to the only other way that, at least that's what it looks like, is um, uh, Harvest Valley. Now, to note, the one thing I know that we're missing are two feral lockstones for back in the Lost Bastille. I don't know if they open up Secret Treasure or if they open up um, a path to go to a whole new area. Because... There was some roaring monsters back in the Lost Bastille. Never fought those roaring monsters. I almost thought like little dragons or something. They were screaming. So I know there's got to be more over there. And there's two lockstones that I'm aware of that we need to find. Actually, taking a quick look. Um, let's see if we have any. We have one. So we just need one more. And then we have one Yor branch. And these are very, very important. I don't know if when you PvP you can collect um, either one of these or if they're just super rare to find, but you know, just a note to make. I did jack up my uh, my katana to plus eight, so yum yum yum. And I infused both of these with poison. I don't know if you can fuse a uh, bow with poison. I didn't try that actually. But I had two poison stones, so I used those. And. I think that's it. Alright, anyways, without further ado, let's go to Harvest Valley. And. It is all poison. That's all this area is. Um, let me change some sound settings here. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, headset was uh, messing, or my earpiece was messing up. Now, there are some dudes hanging down. That's full of items, by the way, and I just sat and picked slowly <laughs> over the. Uh, the items, you know, I because that's all poison. I ran in, grabbed one or two, ran out, healed. Now, I did this from up here, and it seemed to work. See, that one's dead. That one's dead. Oh, missed him. Damn, my eyesight. And then I was able to pick him off slowly. They shoot dark magic. Now dark magic will deplete your stamina and then damage you, of course. But I figured it's just safer to come up here and that was a little brave. I almost flopped off the ledge there and probably died. That's it. So I did refill my arrows. Um, we are at 989. I never noticed that down there before. <laughs> we weren't low or anything by any means, but um, I just thought it was helpful to just be stocked. It's cheap, you know. So you see, now I. Oh, damn. I guess the poison does take away my half health. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's worth getting a um, poison ring or something. I'm wondering if I have one that resists poison. I doubt I do. I'm sure this area has some sort of uh, poison resist ring. But you want to get out of the poison as fast as you can. Here's somebody drinking. Never noticed that before. Yeah, 
Those little sorceress bitches are rough. Yeah, somebody's definitely drinking. Ooh, that one went right in her face. I'm just trying to pick everything off. Yeah, we got him. I think we got the uh, the majority of it. So, go up that ramp, come across, go up the ladder. There is a lever there that draws up this um, this gate here. Oh, and don't be like me and forget to turn here. There is a um, bonfire. So, hooray. I'm going to actually rest at it, do a quick... Uh, we did have all that poison damage. We didn't really take any damage, but, uh, you know, it's just wise to re-up since I'm not going to go back. Now, this pit is full of poison. I'm not even going to bother because I'll die. But uh, if you have a lot of resist or whatnot, um, I would recommend going in there and... See what's up here. Oh, damn. Oh dear Lord. Probably didn't need to do all that. Come on. Seriously, there's no way I'm going down there. It is really bad timing. I shouldn't even have drank those. We'll go back. Let's be a secret in that wall. All right, let's try this again. You had a lot of health. Or he's just like extremely immune to my uh, swords. good damage. I wonder if the poison's like healing him. Because I will regret putting the infusion on and wasting the stones, but uh, I thought it would be better just, just to do that. It looks like a breakable. him do it. Let's try this. Oh, come on. Maybe we do. Well, the bonfire is right over here. Is it? Let's do a quick reset. And then we'll, we'll see if the, uh, the enemy spawn. Let's hold on one second. 
kind of interesting. I'm glad you guys are experiencing this with me where I, um, oh, I swear I hear something. Where I'm discovering the stuff and you're there with me, it's, it's pretty neat. That's why I only do a quick, you just die so much in this game. I hate, until I'm sure the area, at least the layout of it, I hate to, oh, he is there. So it looks like we'll have to get him to turn around. Yeah, come on, break it. I did pretty good dodging there, though. Big old black ball of death. Alright, cool. I'm surprised, though, they made that uh, wall unbreakable except for him. Looks like four things. Torch is good. Smooth and shiny stone. Very good. Soul. And then this stuff. We got a pike. I don't know if that's any good. And then. Okay. Not too bad. So that's another little secret. Um. This there's a chest I did get once, but like I said, you go down that hole, you better have resistance because um, I died. In there, there's a bunch of items and some uh, elite uh, armored. <sighs> I don't think what they are. They're like the. They're just big armored guys. They're a pain in the butt, but. You know, it's it's not really a big deal. You made it this far, it shouldn't be a big deal at all. This is where we're headed. You can tell we've got um, sorceresses dropping fire bombs to make it spicy. That looks like it's going to be a big ass place to go through. And I don't feel like fighting them in the poison, so we're going to do what we do best. are. I think she came from up that way. She did. That is a run, run, run. I don't think I could get her from here. Yeah, I can't even see her. Don't ask me how, with my vision issues. I think I'm going to try to lure him, because I don't want to fight, fight him near the fireballs. See if he'll actually come in. It 
is not doing that much damage. Oh, well, maybe it did. Looked like the sword really was not doing that much damage anymore. Maybe that poison, like, these guys are immune to poison or something. Like, immune. You would think, being, you know, everything is poison here. Maybe they really are. Or at least certain types of enemies in here. That's going to be uh, disappointing if uh, that is the case. Just looking for items. Oh, really? Throwing knives, you little bastard? jumping around. And that's pretty cool. They just hop down like throwing ninja stars everywhere. Oh wow, he died pretty quick. I wonder if the poison just ticked. So, now these look like poison pots. So instead of breaking all of them, getting poisoned and dying, let's see if any of them light up. I'm assuming they will light up. I think we're good on the poison pots. Let's see, we're 16, almost 17 minutes in. I think we just entered this place. This will be a great place to stop um, and start off next time. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we, we, saw, we found a little secret, so that was pretty cool. And um, we made it into the windmill place. Don't really know the whole point of this zone, but uh, or this area, but it, it's still fun learning. It looks pretty dull color-wise, but everything's green, green for poison. I'm sure we'll have a boss coming up that is poison-based of some sort, I would think. But uh, anyways, share, comment, like, subscribe, and as always, guys, until I see you next time, later.